एवरीवन एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय क्लास यू नो दैट आई एम अली मनीषा टीचर एंड जूनियर लेक्चरर ऑफ एलेवेंथ हाई स्कूल एंड जूनियर कॉलेज सो इन टूडेज क्लास वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द चैप्टर सेवेंथ व्हिच इज डील विद द इकोनॉमिक्स फर्स्ट ईयर एंड चैप्टर नेम इज नेशनल इनकम एनालिसिस सो इन दिस चैप्टर हियर इट डिस्क्राइब हाउ वी व्यू द एग्रीग्रेट इनकम ऑफ द इकोनॉमी एंड हेल्प्स अस टू एग्जामिन द वेरियस डेफिनेशन कॉन्सेप्ट मैथड्स इन्वॉल्व इन कैलकुलेटिंग द नेशनल इनकम एंड लिमिटेशन इन मेजरिंग द नेशनल इनकम सो हियर हाउ द नेशनल इनकम इज मेजर्ड इन इंडिया इज ऑल्सो डिस्कस एट द एंड ऑफ दिस चैप्टर ओके नाउ फर्स्ट वी विल गो विद द डेफिनेशन ऑफ नेशनल इनकम सो हियर इन डेफिनेशन ऑफ नेशनल इनकम हियर द नेशनल इनकम हैज बीन डिफाइंड इन ए नंबर ऑफ वेज एंड हियर द नेशनल इनकम इज द टोटल मार्केट वैल्यू ऑफ ऑल द फाइनल गुड्स एंड सर्विस प्रोड्यूस एनुअली इन ए कंट्री हियर द टोटल इनकम एक्यूरिंग ए कंट्री फ्रॉम द वेरियस इकोनॉमिक एक्टिविटीज इन एयर्स टाइम इज कॉल्ड नेशनल इनकम so it includes the payments made at all the factors of the production in the form of rent wages interest and profits here so here the definitions of the national income can be divided into two classes and they are traditional definitions by advocate marshall pigo and fishers and second is that the modern definition by kuznets so here after the definitions of the national income now we will see about the determining factors of national income here there are many factors that influence and determine the size of a national income in a country exactly so here these factors are responsible for the difference in the national income of various countries and they are natural resources quality and quantity of factors of production and state of technology and then the political will and stability now here after discussing about the determining of the factors of national income now we will see about the concept of national income here we will discuss the various concepts of the national income such as the gross national product gross domestic product net national product net national product at factor cost and personal income and disposable income real income and per capita income here okay so here first we will see about the gross national product at market price that is gnp at market prices first we have to see the components of gnp here and they are the value of final consumer goods and services produced in a year and consumed by the households that is denoted by c here then the gross private domestic investment that is denoted by i then here the purchases of goods and services by the government which is denoted by g here and here the net exports which is equal to the value of goods and services exported minus the value of goods and services import that is x minus m get it here so here when we multiply total output provided in a year by their market prices here the prevalent during the year in a country then we get the gross national product that is gnp at market price here gnp at market price means the gross value of final goods and produce the annually in a country plus income from abroad so see this calculation so in this the next concept is that the gnp at factor cost here the gross national product a factor cost in the sum of the money value produced by and accruing to the various factors of production during a year in a country exactly so here the gnp at a market prices mentioned above and including the wages rent interest dividends and the undistributed corporate profits and mixed incomes so here the direct taxes indirect taxes and the depreciation and net income from abroad and here the gnp at a factor cost includes all the items of the gnp at mixed price less indirect taxes so here the gnp at market price is always higher than the gnp at factor cost so here if there are many subsidies to the producers then to get a gnp at a factor cost here the subsidies are added to the gnp at a market prices that is this one see this one so here the next concept is that the gross domestic product at market price that is gdp 
So here in this, this is the part of the GNP and is produced within the country in a year. Absolutely, here the income generated by the factors of the production within the country from its own resources is called gross domestic product or gross domestic income. Get it here. So here the domestic income does not include the income from abroad. So it is shown as like this. See. So after this concept now we will see the net national product at market price that is NNP. Here the country's stock of a fixed capital undergoes a certain amount of wear and tear in the producing goods and services over a period of a time. So here the user cost or depreciation or changes for the renewal must be subtract from the GNP at market prices so obtain the net national product at a market prices so see this one calculation then the next concept to this is net national product at a factor cost so it is also called as the national income and it is the total income received by the four factors of production in the form of rent wages interest and profit in an economy during a year so here the nnp a market price is not available for the distribution among the facts of production so here the goods are sold in a market at a lower prices than the actual cost of production so this value of subsidies has to add it to the net national income market prices now the next concept is that the personal income that is pi here it is the total income received by all the persons in the country in a year before the payment of all the direct taxes. So here the whole of the national income is not available to them. Here the cooperative taxes have to be paid by firms. So here firms may refer to keep a part of its profit for expansion of other agencies. So here this part of the profit are also not distributed to its shareholders. Here the salaried employees make the contribution for the social security get it here disposal income that is di here the disposal income is that the part of the personal income which is left with the individual after the payment of all the taxes like income tax poverty tax etc are they so here generally disposal income is spent for the consumption and for savings so really get it here see this so after that here the real income or the national income at constant prices here. So here in this the real income is a national income expressed in the term of a general prices of a particular year taken as base. So here the national income is the current money value of goods and services produced in a year. So this will not indicate the real status of the economy. Here the production of the goods and services of this year might have been less than that the last year exactly. So to measure the real income of a country a particularly year is taken as the base year in which the general prices level is neither too high or too low get it here so this shows that the real income is also known as the national income at constant prices get it here so after this now we will discuss about the per capita income so here the per capita income the per capita income is the average income of the people in a country in a particular year so it is calculated by dividing the national income at a current prices by the population of the country in that year so now after that here now we will discuss about the relationship between the per capita income and population so here in this there is a close relationship between the national income and population exactly so these two together determine the per capita income if rate of growth of national income is six percent and rate of growth of population is three percent then the rate of the growth of per capita income will be 3%. So here the components of a national income. Here there are four main components of national income and they are consumption which is denoted by C, investment which is denoted by I, government expenditure which is denoted by G and net foreign income which is shown as X minus M. So now the measurement of national income. Here there are three methods of measuring the national income and they are output method or product method second is that income method and third one is expenditure method and they are expressed or calculated like this see this output method or product method 
and then income method with calculation and then expenditure method with calculation so after measurement of a national income now we will see the difficulties in measurement of national income here some of the difficulties we face while measuring the national income and they are goods and services rendered free of charge are not included in the gross national product that is GNP so all these will enhance the welfare of the consumer and the income earned through illegal activities is not included in the gross national product that is GNP exactly and here the services of housewives and unpaid services are not taken into consideration so here the national income is underestimated and at last here the durable goods also causes a problem so it is not possible to measure their used value exactly and etc are they the difficulties in measuring the national income so now we will see the importance of national income estimates so here the importance of a national income estimates is growing because of the several reasons and they are that it is more useful in making the budgetary allocations and it gives an idea of the standard of living in the country and it help us to the compare economic growth with their countries exactly and it gives a clear picture of the level of utilization of the natural resources in a country exactly and it will enable us to know the role of the public and private sectors in the economy and etc are they get it here so after this now we will see the estimation of national income in India so here the estimation of national income in India here soon after the independence in in year in 1949 here the government of India appointed a national income estimate committee comprising of the PC Malabonese and the Gadil and VK RV Rao to calculate the national income of India so here at present the central statical organization that is CSO has been interested with the responsibilities of preparing the national income estimates so here in India the national income is calculated by two methods and they are income method and output method here the CSO has divided the Indian economy into 13 sectors and grouped them under the five heads and the heads are primary sector secondary sector transport communication and trade finance and real estate and at last community and personal services so here all these are the estimates of the national income in India. So through this chapter we have come to know about the national income that describe the aggregate factors income which arises from the current production of goods and services by the nation's economy exactly and here the different economies have given the different definitions of national income on the basis of production, consumption, welfare concepts and etc are they. So among all the three methods of the measuring the national income and expenditure method is the better one exactly so by this measuring here the real national income so here we can avoid the influence of the price fluctuations exactly so here the national income estimates are the useful in planning and economic policies and research and income distribution and welfare related issues in the country so here by this we have completed our seventh chapter that is national income analysis thank you